Hello leaders and welcome to another episode of the Debrief. Today we're going to be talking about our Discover, Identify, Develop model of leadership uh, with a special focus on identify. Specifically, I want to give you all a few questions that you can be thinking about that will help you better identify the spiritual needs of your group. And I want you to uh, consider these questions through the lens of Hebrews, 2, uh, Hebrews 5, 12 through 14 which says, in fact, by, the, by this time you ought to be teachers. You need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lives on milk, being still an infant, is not equated with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. So the first question uh, that I want you to ask is, what kind of food does my group Need Obviously, we'd all love it if our group was ready for solid food, those deep theological conversations that are fun to chew on. But if you give them solid food before they're ready, it could end up being disastrous. My four-month-old daughter, when she gets hungry, I can't just throw a granola bar at her. She needs milk. And so you need to figure out what kind of food does my group need. If during spiritual conversations, uh, there, or if during conversations in grow group there, the, the conversation is lively when talking about things like personal issues or, or sin, but then all of a sudden the room quiets down when talking about things like the Holy Spirit or the resurrection of Jesus, then it might be time to switch from solid food uh, to milk and make sure they get that nutrition that they need. And then the second question is, are there certain foods that my group is avoiding or spitting out? If I could eat cupcakes all day, every day, and still be healthy, you better believe that I would. But that would be terrible for my health. That would not end well for me. And likewise, uh, I, need, I need nourishment. I need like leafy greens. I need protein. I need vitamins. And so you need to be asking, is your group avoiding certain topics? Or are they spitting out certain things that they don't like? Uh, for instance, when you bring up serving, and you talk about serving in your group, does the mood in the group all of a sudden die down? Or when you talk about tithing, does everything get awkward all of a sudden? Or when you talk about uh, certain sin issues, do people begin to look at their feet and are they refusing to make eye contact? When those things happen, don't relent. Don't just move on, press into those issues. Uh, the people in your group can't just avoid certain spiritual topics because they don't like the taste. They need their leafy greens in order to become mature believers in Christ. And then finally, are there people in your group that are waiting for you to feed them? My uh, daughters are two years old and four months old, and so it makes perfect sense that I would feed them or prepare food for them. In fact, I'd be a terrible parent if I let my two-year-old daughter anywhere near a stove or a set of knives, right? But how weird would it be if y'all found out that my mom still fe feeds me? That would be very strange, but unfortunately, that is the spiritual reality for a lot of Christians. They said yes to Jesus years ago, and they go to church every single Sunday, and they go to grow group every single week, but then that's the extent of their spiritual nourishment. They don't know how to feed themselves, and often they are spiritually malnourished, even if they don't realize it. You need to be able to teach the people of your group how to pray on their own, how to read scripture on their own, uh, how to have spiritual conversations on their own. And so the best way to do that is through challenge. Every grow group, give your group members a challenge to pray on their own, to read scripture on their own, to encourage others, and then follow up on that challenge. Uh, the next week, ask them, hey, how was your quiet time? What did God uh, reveal to you during prayer? What was your favorite verse during your soap devotional? And then after you follow up, then encourage them. Uh, tell them about the things that you've seen God do in them, the way that you've seen them grow into mature believers. That sequence of challenge and follow up and encourage, that is the best way to teach your group members how to feed themselves. Again, leaders, we are always just so incredibly thankful for all of y'all and, and what y'all do. Uh, without you guys, uh, Faith Bridge just wouldn't function and the people wouldn't grow. And so we're just so thankful and we love y'all so much and we'll see you next time.